Hello guys, how is it going? Uh, welcome to another K-Tapes. Uh, I got some spare times today, so I thought, hey, why not just make a short video and just maybe tell you about what's the situation in Korea right now and uh, if I got anything new for to show you, any tapes or something. So uh, right now the thing in Korea is that the number of cases, like at least new cases, just dropped. Uh, about like maybe 50 per day or something like that. So uh, anyway, for for that V thing, uh, it's going down. Well, that's a good thing. And um, I think the number of uh, active cases is about three three thousand five hundred, perhaps. So it's fairly low. So I, I wouldn't say like it's super safe to go out or anything, because you know there's always that. 1% chance probability that you catch something but um, I would say that things are going are getting better uh, I guess the return of like warm weather really helps uh, who knows anyways so today I just want to show you a quick thing well first <laughs> a bit of update on my cleaning uh, as you can see the two two boxes right there and the two piles right here so this is what I have left to clean. So I'm probably down to about 70 tapes or something. So anyways, I'm trying to, you know, do about like maybe three to five tapes per day so I can get this pile down. But actually I'm back to work. So I have a bit less time to, you know, clean tapes every day. But and, and it's also after a few days, it, it, it gets tired. I mean, it's uh it's boring to do yeah. and it's uh time consuming that's that's the word anyways so uh oh and yeah here is the big pile of stuff i already cleaned and two boxes below so that is what is done for now so i'm attacking this remaining uh stack over here anyways today uh, i want to show you three tapes that i bought uh, of course, I bought them online because the thing is, we cannot, uh, it's it's hard to go to Seoul and maybe walk around and things. So I'm going to show you three tapes. Um, oh, and the good thing also is maybe because of the current si situation, I'm guessing that some collectors are letting go of some of their nice uh, pieces in their collections. I mean, Korean collectors. I know there's very few of them, but the couple that are there I think are letting go like some nice pieces uh, which is good and I mean as long as the prices are good as well then it's gold so I'm going to show you three tapes uh, the first one right here is um, King Solomon's Mine and this tape uh, let me put the phone can you see with the reflection I'm sorry just doing that with one hand okay so this tape uh, it's kind of rare uh, actually it's very rare because it's it's an old BPC tape uh, I'm guessing like let me check that was back in 19 I think it's 88 cannot really read it it's very small right here so uh, trying to focus I think it's 1988. Anyways, um, yeah, very old tape, um, very nice tape. And since it's a, like a 1957 or 59 movie, uh, which and it, it's like it got that gorgeous, very like 80s style of uh, cover, right? And it's it's Indiana Jones uh, inspired. So very cool cover, actually. So that's why I picked it up and the price was good. So yeah, it was a no-brainer for that one. And also, yeah, as usual, had to clean everything. And as you can see, tape is just perfect now. Okay, let's move on to the next one. If you're a Kung Fu fan, you may like those two films I have next uh, because they're very rare um, Casanova Wong tapes. 
uh, his other name of course is Wang Ho or Kasafa. Uh, he goes by like three or four different names or also the human tornado. So the first one is for Iron Man. Uh, I did a um, custom project of that before with, and we added subtitles and I even interviewed uh, Casanova Wong himself and he talked about the film. Uh, that was very, uh, very interesting to do, very fun. Uh, and by the way, I still have like some uh, footage of him, uh, some rush, uh, like other questions about other movies he made. I should put that out someday on the on the channel for you to watch. Uh, the only thing is, I have to s subtitle the whole thing. Um, yeah, that 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 could take some time though, because I have like maybe forty five minutes of footage with him. Uh, that's not the thing now. We, I want to talk about the tape. So for Iron Man. Um, if I remember, it's a 1976 film, uh, it's a Korean film, um, one of those like a bit like cheaper Korean films that were made around that time and at the time I think he shot like two or three films the same year with the same kind of backdrop and props and stuff so it's kind of funny to see like stuff coming back in like the other movies that he made the same year. Um, so yeah, very rare film on the life uh, label as you can see right here and the good thing about this is I had it in the past um, luckily I was able to find another copy before I sold it uh, but this one is look at this is totally unfaded like no sun fade on the spine here very beautiful so that's a gorgeous copy except just the plastic box got like a hard to see but right here you see just lifting but I mean it's just a plastic box that can be replaced I can find another one it's no big deal but the thing is the the spine the cover is very clean and of course the tape itself is also very clean uh, there's even like that holographic life logo here which is kind of cool because I don't see that very often I, I think it was more random they put it on some tapes I mean that company would put it on some tapes some releases others not um, so yeah very cool day very rare um, in Korea this goes usually for like over a hundred bucks um, and I wouldn't say like oh in this condition it goes for more because there's so few Korean collectors and it, that's not something they they kind of value like that the tape condition it's more like oh I have to tape done deal you know like can have mold or whatever and they they would still think it's worth like a ton uh, but for me as a tape collector uh, of course I check if the tape is in good condition first of all and second uh, overall you know condition of the box and the, the sleeve inside especially the sleeve so this one is, is a top-notch tape right there. All right, the next one, another Casanova Wong tape. This one is the first one I see, and uh, not the first one, the first time I see it, but the first time I get one. Um, I saw one in the past, uh, but I was shopping with one of my friends and of course he grabbed it, so <laughs> I couldn't get it. And ever since I was like, oh my God, I want that tape so bad, but uh, I couldn't find another one except now so and we're talking about like oh my god maybe almost four years ago so it's been a while so i mean this tape is is um it's not very common as you can see uh it's the yeah it's perhaps the second time i see it in like over 10 years um and the prices were always over 100 bucks if i happen to if they happen to have it in one of the stores <clears throat> that i know uh so i'm not gonna spend like 150 bucks for that so I just waited and waited and waited until I get like a good deal on it which I did um, so yeah uh, by the way yeah this movie is called uh, Seven Fingers of Kung Fu I think I think that's that's right yeah, I'm, I'm so terrible with Kung Fu tapes I'm, I'm always mixing stuff up uh, but yeah it's in Korean um, I believe it's it's anamorphic so that means if you adjust uh, with, with like editing program if you adjust the um, the ratio you get like a widescreen pretty much uh, so yeah 
<clears throat> very rare tape, original Korean release in Korean. So you have it, Seven Fingers of Kung Fu, and it's again another life tape, which is really nice. Yeah, life put out like so many different tapes, by the way. They, they went from Kung Fu to some like dramas, and they have a bunch of like old the peplums, uh, like from the 50s or 60s. So they were very, they had like a very wide variety of genres and uh, even like movies from different countries. So that's, that's really cool. And they most of the time released like a lot of, um, I think they have a bunch of giallos as well. Uh, yeah, Life, it's very, one of those very cool uh, labels. And what, what is great about Life is many of those, um, their releases have that baby blue clamshell, just like the this one, right? So they both have like baby blue clamshells. Uh, maybe I can show you in my, uh, in my collection, if I pull the green screen, I uh, got some Life here, right there. You see, like, there's, like, some Mr. X, I think, like, it's, like, 1960s spy movie, German or Italian co-production. Uh, Return of the Werewolf, uh, this one is, um, the white spine that's, uh, Zoltan, the Hounds of Dracula. Uh, yeah, so, it's lots of cool stuff on their life. All right, so, um... Well, that's it for today. Thank you once again. I hope to be able to make more videos actually because I've ordered um, I've ordered what two movies that I should get. Uh, so two more tapes I bought online, rare stuff. Oh, I always buy rare stuff, right? Uh, so two more rare tapes I'm gonna show you perhaps uh, perhaps next week. Uh, just by the time they get delivered and so on. So maybe next week uh, I'll show you two more, three more uh, rarities I found in Korea. So stay tuned and everybody please stay safe and uh, see you again next time. All right, thanks.